There you go, so I'm going to start this video off showing you Finally, the first clip I have hit on the beta. Now, I really wanted to hit on the beta just because I'm usually the only one who doesn't. So, I was determined to hit determined to hit this beta. Here you go. It's literally just a split quad feed, but with a triple headshot feed and an all pro, which makes it look nice. So, enjoy. Oh! Actually, a clip. I also want to say that I've unlocked the Big Brother, which is the best version of the longbow you can get. Can you tell? Can you see that? The map is showing up when I'm aimed down the site. That is the best part about it. I've been. This is literally like the only thing I've been aiming for since the beta cup. Well, not since I've. Since I knew what you could do with the salvage things. And at the end of the first weekend of this beta, I didn't have enough, and I, and I'm going on holiday for the second week of the beta. But it was released a day early. Oh, that could have been another something for that. The second weekend was actually released a day early for PS4, so I managed to actually play it, and we're not actually going away until the almost the evening of the Friday. So that's when I'm making this video. But Yo, bruh. What? Oh, you fucking know, you again, really? Oh, I didn't do anything. Okay, you can stay there, just don't be annoying. Okay. So for this video, as you can tell by the title, I'm doing the pros and cons of this game from the beta. And the reason I'm doing this is obviously the beta is so that Call of Duty can see what to change, or Call of Duty, Infinite Warfare, oh, fucking, Infinity Ward can see what they need to change and what is perfectly fine from the beta. So that's the whole point of it. Players can play the game before it's even released, as you can know, and then they get feedback from those players to change the game to work. Okay, so some of the pros of this game. So this game, if you didn't know, actually has target assist with the snipers, which is amazing. Like Black Ops 3 didn't have target assist, which made it so hard, so much harder. The only bad thing with that is that means quad feeds and stuff probably won't be usable just because it's easier to snipe, whereas on Black Ops 3 quad feeds and stuff are usable because it's so hard. The hit detection with the snipers actually seems to be quite good as well. I didn't really realize until I think it was Jev mentioned it, and then I was like, Oh, I, I agree. I also really like the maps just because they're quite, well, like, a couple of them are quite bite and bright. Bite? Br for fuck, I can't words today. They're actually really bright and vibrant, and I just really like the quality of all the maps. Like, even this map, Terminal Remake, is actually really nice. And as soon as I started talking, I've just gone to complete poo. You were poop anyway. No, I'm not poo anyway. I, just, just stay back and be quiet. The movement is actually... It is very similar to Black Ops 3, and I, like I've said before, I don't mind the Black Ops 3 movement, so I really like the movement on this game. They haven't done it like Advanced Warfare, which is perfect, which is great. Where the hell? Which is great, because that's literally the only game with movement that I hate, which is Influ- I can't talk today. Advanced Warfare is actually the only game with this sort of movement that I hate, because you just shoot up way too quickly, and it's just- it's, I just don't like it. So at least, like they mentioned, this is exactly like Black Ops 3. So if you like Black Ops 3 movement, you're going to like this game. Another thing I like is the fact that they like have salvage to unlock the better versions of the weapons. And the, like, the sort of missions that you've got to do during games. So if you didn't know, if you click the start button when you go into a game, I can't do it now. A mission thing will pop in the top right, which I've mentioned before, and I really like how you can do that. Like, they give you individual missions for each of the four teams to unlock. Like, when each time it levels up, I'm pretty sure the team levels up, I'm pretty sure you get oh, salvage. I, I think you have like, as you can see, I've already got this team to level 30, and I've actually got both teams to level 30 already, but as you can see in the top right corner now, when I click R1, I can choose which mission to go for. So, when I spawn in, I can try and complete it and unlock salvage points and everything, and then salvage points actually allow you to unlock different versions of the guns and everything. So the only reason why I've got these three is just a lock of them into supply drops. And then, like I said earlier on, Big Brother was like 3,600 and each of these, it like kind of goes up. So it's 200, 540, 1,500 and 3,600. So I like how that's a thing rather than just getting the supply drops because you can get them in supply drops as well. It gives another, you know, another thing to do. So I don't know. I don't really understand. But yeah, I, I enjoyed that. I enjoy that, I like that. And then the final positive that I can come up with, or I could think of the other day, is the classics weapon sort of thing. So Black like no other game has done this, obviously they haven't really needed to. But they've got their own versions of the guns, and then they've actually got classics, which you're gonna have available in the full game. So they're ACR, UMP, Intervention, Sa what's that? 
Spaz 12 and the M1 Grand. I like how they've done that just because then you can use those older, older versions of the guns if you feel like it at all the newer versions. So I, just, I really like how they've done that. I don't know why. I don't know why I made that face either, to be honest. Okay, now the cons. Oh, can I do them? Yes. Yeah, I suppose you can do the cons if you want. Okay, so number one. Is that the spawns are shit. Okay, yeah, I suppose the spawns aren't the best, really, are they? Yeah, I kind of understand where you're coming from. From Like, I've, I've done it multiple times where I've spawned on one side of the map, and then I've had an enemy spawn right, ne right next to me for some reason. I just got another clip. I just got a quadential feed. What the fuck? Did I really... What the fuck? That is so random. I could have just gone on again. What the fuck? <laughs> the second one is that you die quite quickly, actually, and it's really Yeah, I suppose annoying. you do die too quickly. Yeah, okay, right. I'm just gonna let you talk, and I'm not gonna agree with anything. I'm just gonna listen. We also hate how the map disappears as soon as you click LT with a sniper. Like, it doesn't matter what site you have, even ELO site, it just disappears as soon as you click LT. Yeah, the camos are also really shit on the Widowmaker. Um, like, it only shows on the scope and not the whole gun, like the longbow and stuff, which makes the camo and the gun just look shit. Insta swapping is actually too hard, like, it is possible because I've done, well, I've done it, he's done it, and other people have done it, but it's just not the same as the older CODs, and I'd, I'd rather just a good old insta swapping. Like, dexterity, just clicking triangle is much better than insta swapping. Oh, and all the kill cams, like, really fucked up. Like, I, we, he hasn't hit any yet, I've hit loads, but this, but this kid's shit, and so. It's like, it slows down after you've already killed the guy rather than usually when you shoot, that's when it slows down. But it like kind of goes fast, you hit, and then it slows down as you're dying if it's a suicide, for example. Uh, speaking of suicides, when going for a suicide in the game, it's like BO3 where it gives you the warning sign. Doesn't look too bad in kill cam, but it kind of covers up the shot and it just makes your shot look terrible, to be honest. And last, but definitely not least, those fucking cluster bombs. Oh my god, those things are so OP, it's stupid. I'm pretty sure that the main con that everyone has after playing the beta is those, but... Apart from that, that's basically it. I mean, fucking hell, there's cluster bombs. Oh, you guys, so if you enjoyed that video and those two clips, then... No, 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 no. I do the outro. Get out. Leave. Nope, fuck off. Hey guys, so hope you enjoyed that video. Drop a like and comment if you did. Three shirts in this one whole video. Actually, no, two shirts and a jacket, but... The reason is because I'm doing this outro after I've already recorded the white shirt part and obviously my twin came in with the jacket after university which was on the 25th of October, did his part and yeah so everything's just so confusing so now I've got another shirt I couldn't bother to change into the other shirt because it's in the wash and I can't get it out of the wash. Anyway if you did enjoy drop a like and go if you did. If you want to know how to do this twin thing let me know and I will do that like I've got that written down for like next week anyway so you're probably going to see it no matter what. But yeah those are just some of the pros and cons of what I don't like about Infinite Warfare and what I do like about Infinite Warfare obviously pros and cons is pros and Cons. So yeah, hopefully Call of Duty sees this. If they probably won't, to be honest. But anyway, it kind of just tells you guys what I like. So that's basically it. Drop a like, comment if you. Yep. Yeah, okay. Bye.